FMA Live is an award-winning science education concert created by Honeywell and NASA that connects science and engineering to everyday life. The most important thing about this show is that there's a lack of interest in science, technology, engineering, and math careers. And from the studies that Honeywell has done, we need to get them involved, we need to get them inspired, but we need to bring it to them on a level that they can understand. And this is the best way to do it. The interactive traveling hip hop concert teaches Newton's laws of motion and gravity to middle school students. The coolest thing to see is the students leaving the shows every time we perform and they're singing the songs and they're doing the dances and they're getting involved. So that's the reaction is energetic and excitement and it's something that they didn't, we didn't see from them as they walked in the door. FMA Live isn't the only educator using hip hop to teach science. Columbia University professor Christopher Emden has been dropping science beats with his students all over New York City for over five years. I'm in a motion, changing location, till it hits traction, the coefficient of friction. I'm off Newton, I'm on an Einstein. I like Einstein, because Einstein's mind is like mine. All right? I use hip hop because kids love hip hop. I also use other things that kids love. I've used video games. I used to teach physics in the ninth grade in the Bronx. We would do video game physics. I mean, the idea is for the teachers to be creative enough to look at any phenomena that means something to young people and then highlight what is inherently scientific in that phenomena so young folks start realizing that science can actually be cool and connected to something that they love. Dr. Emden teaches several types of science to every student he can, from grade school through graduate school. Tomorrow you might call me, I might be in a school in the Bronx co-teaching a ninth grade or 10th grade class. Uh, tonight I'll be teaching some graduate students here at Columbia at Teachers College. I might just, you know, pop up somewhere and engage with a third or fourth grader. How would you explain your teaching style? I teach as an MC. I teach because I've mastered my content. I'm the master of ceremony and I have the intention to move the crowd. And so when I walk into the classroom, you know, with an MC sensibility, then I have to make sure that the kids connect. Exactly what you just said. Um, Write that down. What did I say? <laughs> I'm not saying that rap is the key to science. I'm saying that in rap are skill sets necessary for having kids engage in science. It really is helping. I'm starting to you know, get back on track with my science. I actually sit home looking up different science terms before we actually learn them. And then I actually like read the definitions and all that. And then I put them into my raps and everything. Last name synthesis, first name photo. I stay energized like motion in loco. Energy in the perfect thing that stimulates. A vegetarian thing that I emulate. The reaction to Emden's teaching style has been so positive that he co-created Science Genius, a science rap battle that isn't about who's the best rapper, but the best scientist. The more people I know, kinetic energy grows, so I'ma go to work, convert all of my potential, and as my speed increases, then I'ma go exponential. Engaging in using music and art and culture, especially if it's the culture of young people, is, is in itself a way to be able to hone in on science skills. You are more reflective, you are more sort of theoretical in your approach to thinking about things. You have to be able to draw connections between things that are seemingly disconnected. And it's that perceived disconnect that makes hip hop and science education more effective for both teachers and students. What kind of classrooms are successful teaching STEM? Any class that does not dumb down the expectations of academic rigor while it increases the academic interest um, or the sort of natural interest and inclination wins. There has to be this delicate, beautiful balance. Uh, that's what my work is all about, and my work in science education, to help teachers to be able to get to that point that feels like magic where the kids are super engaged, the content is functioning on a high level, there's good dialogue going on, and everybody leaves the class sort of more excited and more learned and more informed. That's what a magical classroom looks like. That's what all science classes should look like. The brain cohabitates with the mind to perform perceptions of its own kind. So listen, we gotta transform, make it different landforms. How does the landform landform? Get it? That's dope. Prop, prop, prop. For science and you, I'm Tina Beth Pena.